everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to have a, a insightful conversation with my senior sumit of, of fourth semester mtech quantum technology at iit jodhpur welcome to my channel thank you mr uh, so can you introduce yourself yeah so thank you uh, my name is my name is sumit and uh, i belong from jhansi then shifted to mumbai i did my btech from aktu in computer science then i worked for essential for one year and at a profile of uh, ASE associate software engineer then i wrote git from csc then i came to iit jodhpur with, with studying with nathan <laughs> actually is my senior <laughs> okay uh, you have done uh, engineering in computer science yeah and how were you interested in quantum technology and how you prepared for gate and which paper you gave uh, <laughs> like there are different combinations of paper right? right so which paper you gave yeah as we have two options to write gate in so i opted for the csc part for that i don't know uh, so and the interest part is like uh, this uh, i choose quantum computing uh, because see, the, uh, the department is qic and quantum information computation mm -hmm. and uh, then the part is like on the mtech is from quantum technologies and the subdivision is like specialization is from quantum computing so as computing suggest it related to csc part and quantum is like related to physics part so i wanted to study both the things and I, as i already did uh, my btech from csc so i thought of learning something extra so i joined this and uh, yeah there we go uh, you are doing software kind of job Yeah. and then this transition like from work to uh, again studies academics like how you how was that transition yeah it was little tough because uh, i don't have to write like don't have a habit to write a lot of things now because when i was working so i used to code, do a lot of code and just all the queries these things we have to do but when i again back to the like after i passed out from 21 then again joined in 22 so with the gap of one or more than one year so it was a little tough but uh, as it environment is like that that made made makes you to do better things yeah uh, then like if someone is uh, this quantum is making new uh, news every day if, if you open uh, linkedin yeah, you right. can see uh, many uh, many companies posting that they have built a uh, quantum chip like uh, google has announced willow and then amazon circ uh, like ha if someone is starting in the field of quantum computing like from where they can start uh, how yeah so yeah if it is good like if you can come to iit or some good campus then that is the good option but there are online uh, courses available like which i did when i was in my first semester like i was studying here also and i was doing two semester course which is by coding school mm -hmm. so they have lot of good teachers from professors basically from stanford and other un good universities mm -hmm. so they teach uh, very from starting from very basics considering everyone from it is open for everyone from high school to the people who are graduate mm -hmm. just see the application form if it is there then he will provide the link in the description then there's one if uh, if you are willing to pay then there's an mit course also and on udemy also there's one course ma mastering quantum like this way uh, this something like the master classes on quantum mm -hmm. computing mm -hmm. and even best option is like there's an ibm mm -hmm. so ibm al always provide their own if they bring something new so they always provide the playlist so mm -hmm. that is free of cost that you can follow from youtube so yeah the first option if you have uh, if you are willing to do degree then definitely come to the because uh, in offline you can do better things yeah. but in online you the doubt issues and also if it, it depends on, on on you how you want to learn so but there are all, a number of resources which are available okay uh, you have done project and like there are uh, verticals right in right. which domain you have done your uh, mtech project yeah and so uh, i did my mtech project in uh, qcnn quantum convolutional neural network mm -hmm. and uh, the the data set i am using is like for the remote sensing mm -hmm. like uh, like uh, like uh, the zero set data set which is available which i am working on there's some different data sets so i'm just using machine learning and our quantum knowledge and mixing both of them and second uh, second project was basic like that was a capstone project which is on quantum random number generator difference between this uh, what makes uh, quantum much faster and then uh, compared to classical algorithms uh, mm -hmm. like how you will comment on that 
yeah so like there's one source algorithm which is there so they are they are doing exponentially good as compared to the classical uh, algorithms uh, el classical algorithm which is available and for the growth which we see for the speed up th that is like uh, classically it takes order of n and uh, when it comes to uh, this quantum it takes all, uh, root n and which is like it looks like it is nothing but uh, when we take a lot of data like a number of data large number of data set then it it shows how powerful quantum computers are which uh, shows the advantage and a lot of experiments are going on even uh, this is a theoretical, theoretical expect somebody breaks rsa from china so i heard it like yeah, maybe uh, rsa hacking this yeah. quantum computer will break the classical thing so people are now learning post quantum cryptography like <laughs> like they are learning something beyond yeah to protect from quantum yeah. attacks okay so let's walk and have yeah, a yeah, conversation sure. <laughs> which is the main part <laughs> yeah, so coming to the mtech placements <laughs> so you are actually you are already placed right congratulations on that yeah thank you from the through college placements right right yeah, yeah. Uh, from accenture to a product based company yeah how do you feel about that so yeah it was a good experience mm. and uh, like coming from a different domain and going in quantum mm. uh, yeah it was a learning good learning experience and uh, yeah like if people are like if we are giving our hard work and doing uh, with that smart work mm. then definitely people are going to get placed mm. and yeah that's that's how it goes like initially we are not like we don't know anything but mm. when we come and we learn and that's how like mm. things go yeah Okay. okay. If uh, that's next, yeah, you can. <laughs> salary thing we go. You should not. <laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> like everyone is fascinated about uh, mm -hmm. salary at uh, like packages at IIT. It will be more compared to our previous, I guess. So yeah, definitely. Like uh, if it won't, then I won't join it. <laughs> okay. But uh, what IIT do apart from your package and all is like mm. it helps you to build your own things like mm. LPS is totally different thing mm. uh, initially like when we are in bachelors then mm. we are think sort of doing getting the like LPA yeah. we thought about LP and mm. people are getting settled but mm. if you see like if you this one quote uh, I was listening Peter Thiel mm. and the the, the one who wrote mm. zero to uh, one book and yeah. there's a founder of ex-founder of PayPal and all yeah. so he mentioned a good line like uh, he, he I was listening in session so he told uh, mm. there are a lot of uh, gates mm. uh, open for us but a lot of people go for the small gates and once they go for the small gates the competition increases so there are a lot of other gates to, uh, which are waiting for you mm. so you can go and do experiments and maybe some gate can build your future and you can be a next millionaire yeah uh, okay one last question yeah. uh, if someone is going to start in the field of quantum which programming languages they need to start and from where they can start okay so for programming language uh, one should start from python because uh, like you can get, import the most of the libraries which mm. is available mm. so i i will I even go one through the Python part, mm. and the more important thing is your logics. Mm. Apart from your programming language, the logic should be good. Mm. So this is the language. And uh, if you ask about the quantum resources, mm. like uh, then I, some of the resources I already mentioned, yeah. but uh, other resources like even Quantum Computing India and Q Code, mm. these are the platform. Mm. Uh, they are providing the free of resources mm. which you can enroll for, mm. and uh, they have a playlist like this. Q Code has. Uh, 21 days challenge which mm. you can join mm. okay where you can follow the list and uh, you can just sh uh, share you can join the team suppose if uh, it's a, like uh, when we learn with in a group mm. we can learn more things we can discuss doubts and everything okay. so join that like you can even there's a tel telegram community of q code you can follow that mm. and the, follow the playlist and so, uh, see the videos mm. and then after completing 21 days, hmm. then you can go f and offer any good projects hmm. and you can work together. Okay. Even I also attended that uh, 21 days challenge in from Geo Code, where from starting from basics to uh, uh, quantum machine learning, those things were covered. Like uh, resources will be provided, you can learn on your own time. So, this is the thing about Geo Code. Yeah. So, do follow on LinkedIn, Instagram, and then YouTube. YouTube is also yeah. there, right? Podcast is there. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mithya. For your yeah. time.